Hello and welcome back to another tech tip from Sonic Academy. I am your host, Mac Vaughn. Thank you for joining me on this crazy wild adventure. In this tutorial, we're going to be picking up uh, where we left off with the last couple uh, tech tips we've been doing. I'm just kind of rolling forward and using these uh, things that we've been uh, building to keep kind of making a loop, basically. And uh, what I want to do in this tech tip is show you some a really cool trick in the instrument rack. Uh, with the velocity editor here, which is uh, uh, where we can um, do some morphing, some basically like a, a morphing between two instruments or use this to bring in another instrument and add some uh, dynamic value to the um, the pattern that we uh, that we have going. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another instrument. And I'm going to go to this uh, tech house category here. I'm going to go with plucks. And let's have a listen. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of spacey and out there, and that's what I want. I want something that's going to um, stand out uh, in conjunction with the uh, pattern that I have going. So let's listen to the whole thing. Cool. All right, I think that'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and close. Uh, Anna there. Um, and just to give you an idea of how the velocity uh, morphing uh, works, um, I'm not sure what these yellow bars are called, but I'm just going to call them bars. Um, I'm going to do something kind of dramatic here. I'm going to turn off the, the our middle um, sub bass uh, uh, instrument, and I'm going to edit these zones where this top instrument only responds to velocity notes from 1 to 64, and this new instrument um, will only respond from uh, 64 to 127. And this is just to show you, um, you know, what I mean by two different sounds. So let's get these up past uh, 64. So you can see that these are only responding, the, the, this instrument uh, is only responding to velocity notes below the 64 range, and this one is only responding to notes that are above the 64 range. And what I want to do is um, kind of use these velocities to kind of trigger some of these notes and add in that other sound to create some really cool dynamic, um, or kind of morph it in, so to speak. So I'm going to bring uh, my top instrument all the way up to 127 and then for the um, the new instrument um, let's try starting at like 48 and you'll see there's this gray bar here uh, I don't know if you can see that or not if I zoom in here you can see there's a little gray bar and when I run my mouse over it grabs that bar and it'll start sliding or start fading it whoa Okay, just kidding. Okay, so let's grab that bar, and I'm just going to fade. So what that will do is, as it starts hitting these notes, you'll hear it a little bit, but it's not really going to be full on until we start like really, um, you know, uh, doing higher uh, velocity. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. Hitting it harder, basically. Basically, as we turn the velocity all the way up, it will trigger that instrument. Let's go with that. I think that works. Okay. So I'm going to reset all these to zero and I'll bring these up. So we should just be hearing the top instrument now. Okay. And let's make that a little bit more exciting. Um, let's say these two And that might be a little too much. Let's bring that down. Still a little too much. And maybe we'll do these notes here. We'll kind of just bring those up. And all I'm doing is I'm selecting the notes that I want. And I'm holding Command and it will give me this little draw line. 
Okay. And then let's copy those over. And then maybe on these last ones, we'll go full on. And you can hear it kind of hit a little harder there at the end. Let's go back here again. We'll bring that in. Bring in our low. And let's see how it sounds with the drums. There we go. So you get the idea. I can't say that the sound is, you know, out of this world, but uh, you can play around with that basically and uh, see what you get. So that might work. Cool. Uh, that's it for my tech tip here, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.